Hey folks, welcome back to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. I'm Greg Brown, owner of Cotswold Collectibles. And today we're going to continue our discussion on vintage G.I. Joe boots, etc., 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 with our guest, Ace Allgood, a good friend of mine and a diehard vintage collector. So take away, Ace. All right, so last time we were talking about boots, we were talking about numbered boots from uh, Mouth of Doom and that and, and those little brown things. And then we started talking about space. I said, oh my gosh, I forgot the space boots. And so um, I thought we'd start with space boots right now. And there are basically three sets of space boots. Well, I guess I could add the little booties that are added to the- uh, to the, um, the foil booties. The, the foil booties. Yeah. That I did not include those today. But um, here are the silver boots that are flat bottomed and sometimes you'll find these numbered and um, but they're flat bottom space boots that came with the mysterious explosion okay. came with some space sets um, some of the 69 space sets and um, but these boots were used for for quite a few different sets so they're, right. they're fun great boots now frequently they'll find them and they'll be split at the back and that's just a a way that they were tooled at that time. Then we have the old waffle boots here, the white waffle boots, which I think first came out in 67 with the deep, deep freeze, freeze set. Yeah. And um, these are these are cool, kind of like Mickey Mouse boots. You can used to go find these at the Surplus City when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But um, these are relatively common. These also came with um, a couple of the spacemen too. Um, mm -hmm. I know this came, this was used in various sets as well. And so this is a relatively common boot. And then we've got the yellow version of those space boots. Um, and you'll probably also notice this one split here. They actually frequently split, but um, this one is the flying space adventure boot. And these are sub substantially harder to find than these, but not, not that you can't find these boots. These are relatively easy. And what year did that? 69. 69. Okay. 69 only, from my understanding. All right. Hard set to get. Well, let's let's. I now wait a minute. I think Flying Space was 70. Now that I'd say it, because it was the is the adventure team. It was the first adventure team. Isn't that blue open? It's not a red top 69. Right. So, but it's right there. So it's that 60. I think it was probably Christmas of 69, 70. How about this? I don't really know. <laughs> Google it. Yeah. Um, okay, so that got us through our space boots, and I love space boots. They are all they are all full of love. And um, anyway, let's let's um, let's switch over to dress shoes here real quick. There's quite a few different dress shoes out there, and the the dress shoes that um, are Hasbro are pretty easy to identify for two ways. They have fantastic detail. And this is a this is one of the rare exceptions where they actually mark them Hasbro. Really? Yep. So the vintage boots on the bottom right the say heel. right by the heel say Hasbro Hong Kong. So if you've got a dress shoe that just says Hong Kong on it, it is not a vintage GI Joe. All GI Joe dress shoes are marked Hasbro. Hasbro. Action Man also came out with their version of the dress shoe. They use the exact same mold. You'll notice that they're marked Hasbro Hong Kong. They have a number one and two. Sometimes you'll find G.I. Joe versions with a one and a two. But this is um, the exact same mold, and this came with three or four Action Man sets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like officer sets? Or yeah, officer yeah. sets and, okay. and that kind of thing, police officer kind of things. Gotcha. But uh, those are actually pretty nice, and they're they're... These are actually, I think, might be easier to find than the black really? ones, depending on where you are. So they never made brown dress shoes for any of the G.I. Joe sets. It was strictly a European. Strictly style. a European action man. And I, I'm pretty sure this also came with action team, action you team. know, because those were all cross pollinating at that time. Right, right. OK, so now we're going to switch over to our little short black boots. Short black boots. Short black boots, which is actually kind of one of the things I get the most questions over because they're probably the most challenging. And I'm going to try to get all of our little short black boots here together. Um, first, let's start off with our most common ones. And we've got the, the, the highly detailed laces, highly detailed sides, um, and that simple ridge on the bottom, much like the tall boots, much like the short black boots. Right. 
and the short brown boots as well. This is a very common boot. This is probably the most common boot in the G.I. Joe line. Um, these were used from 1964 to 1976, right, basically. Right. Yeah. Now in 75, 76, I'll show you the low detail, they kind of moved to a, a different molding, but this boot was really used. And, and what's kind of funny is some of those later adventure or some of the later thicker adventure team ones are really thick around the edges. And, um, but again, it's a, this is the most common boot. Um, you can find them frequently chewed up by the dogs or by the kids. Um, and uh, this is your basic G.I. Joe boot right here. Now, real quick question about these boots, because I've seen a lot of boots that have come out and they don't have the laces tied at the top. It, it, basically, they're just tall black boots that were cut short. Yeah, exactly. So those were either the kid did them or the parents did it, or those were knockoffs, right? Or did they ever make, <clears throat> did they ever do a short Hasbro GI Joe boot that the there were no laces. Not, well, I, I'm I'm of the I'm of the opinion to say never say never. never say never never say never. However, I am not aware of any sets packaged that right. have come with those kind of boots in them. I've seen those boots in various collections. I've, that I've come across them all the time. All the time. And I think that they're whacked off and cut off because maybe they got chewed up by the dog or maybe they split and it's like, how do we make it The kid it didn't want to have a tall black boot. He wanted to make a short black boot. Yeah, and we, we've seen modifications of all kinds of G.I. Joe stuff. And I think we should do a video sometime of all okay. the crazy modification stuff we found. Field modifications. Anyway, so, but that's basically it. So really, in, at the end of the run, at the end of the run, they they did go with this kind of this low detail um, boot. These were very frequently made in Action Man 2. So low detail boots uh, are can be found in the Action Man world a lot easier. They're very common in the Action Man world. Right. But they were also some later edition G.I. Joe stuff. Now, I also want to talk about... Yeah, those laces, yeah. Yeah, the laces. I also want to talk about these short black boots, which have smooth, flat bottoms and say Hasbro Japan on the bottom. You probably have some of these boots if you have any early 64, 65 stuff. These were 64, 65, came with two different sets. I guess these would be 65 because the two sets they came with were Ski Patrol. Mm -hmm. And what's kind of funny is, is on this one, you can see there's like a little scratch and on these two sides where they sat in the ski set, in the ski, the ski bindings. And then there was this one that has more of a larger scratch along the bottom of it. And this was with the Deep Sea Diver. Okay, yeah. And so the Deep Sea Diver and the Ski Patrol came out in 65. So these are 65 boots, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Now, yeah. did they come out in 64? Maybe. But typically these were on those two Both sets. And if you look at the scratches on the bottom of them, because they came from the factory typically attached, you would um, you could see that. So um, those are fun. So we've gone through those, we've gone through these. Now these boots right here are interesting because they're thicker. They're not as quite as detailed. You can see that there's no lace markings on the sides or on the tops. They do have ridges on the bottom, but they're a little more of a pronounced ridge. And these are earlier Action Man boots. Right. And I'll be quite honest with you, I'm not 100% sure which sets they came with and didn't come with, but these were made for for England and they're Action Man boots. Yeah, the lacing detail is like almost night and day with the- Yeah, you compare the two sides and, and the lacing is just, it's just, it's just not, a, they're thick, they're a thicker plastic right. and they're quality made, but they're just not as detailed as the original G.I. Joe boot. Um, and then there's these mysterious lace-up boots that that have Hasbro on the bottom in one and two. And there's many, many questions about these boots. And from my understanding, they are only from Action Man and came with a handful of sets in the, like the early British Commando, I think had these boots on them. And I know of no G.I. Joe set that these came from. However, 
on the bottom, they are marked Hasbro Hong Kong. Really? That is crazy. That is crazy. But I don't know of any actual G.I. Joe yeah. set that those came I was from. about to say everything, when you had those, I thought immediately the Action Man, because I've seen more of the Action Man sets because they had that and they yeah. had the little cloth putties on them. It, absolutely. Yeah. Those little elastic, yeah. little elastic putties that would just you'd push, put on them. And they, the Mountain Climber has these boots. Mm -hmm. The British Commando has these boots. Yeah. But yeah. Um, okay, so now I think we're down to, the, let's see, the trifecta of um, jack boots jack and mounting boots. boots, right? Jack boots here. And um, these are also three sets of boots that kind of get, a, there, there's a little bit of confusion around them and all that. And, and what we have here is, um, these right here are your Hasbro jack boots. These came with the um, the German um, Stormtrooper and the uh, Russian Command, R Russian Soldier. Soldier. Yeah. yeah. And these are a thick, a thick plastic, you know, like your typical nice um, G.I. Joe high boots. And they have the same typical ridge on the bottom. They do have heels. And I will also make a note here that they're not marked Cotswold on the bottom. Fair they're not marked Cotswold on the bottom. Um, but uh, they have nice laces on them and, the, and a good little bit of a sag here between it, and they're pretty well made. Um, these were also with the State Trooper. Ah, uh, okay. That's right. That okay. was the other. That was the other set I, that, that they came with. Okay, and um, here we have another pair of Jack boots that look. They look great. They're fantastic boots, but they've got smooth bottom and they are numbered one and two. They're not always numbered, but sometimes they're numbered. But they've got smooth bottom. These boots huh. are Action Man, Action Team boots. Really. So that's the difference, is the smooth bottom. They still have the heel, but it's a smooth. They still have a heel, and they don't say Cotswold. And, <laughs> um, but they, uh, they, uh, they um, are, and these are great jack boots. I mean, they, they display great, don't get me wrong. They look, you know, next to, side by side, they look almost identical to the Hasbro ones. And they're typically easier to find because they came on so many sets from the European market that they're relatively easy to find. Right. Um, so anyway, now I'm, yeah, they're, but they're, they're, they're a little bit more rubbery too, as I remember. Or, yeah, or so. they're a little thinner. They might they're, be, they might be slightly thinner yeah, than the Hasbro ones. Yeah, the birth on the diameter on it's a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Then we have probably the hardest to find boots in the G.I. Joe line, and I would call these the, the tall brown, um, Mountie boots. As you can even tell, the set that we have here at Cotswold are a little bit chewed up because they're hard to find. <laughs> um, Just a bit. These have the thick ridges on the bottom. They're a thick plastic. They're beautiful boot. They're just brown. They're they're just like the jack boots that came with the Soldier of the World, but they're brown. And they only came with the Mountie. Yeah, they only came with a Mountie. And I'll tell you the other thing: they only came they, the Mountie that they came with. They only came on some of the Mounties. They didn't come on all of the Mounties. Really? The Mounties have the, some of the Mounties have black boots. Well, all of the the Action Man ones have these thin soled black boots. black boots. But um, I have purchased Mounties from Canada that came with your basic tall brown boots. Really? Just, just your basic, just really? your basic lace ups. And they're you know they're nice boots, but they're not the tall browns. And those are those are relatively these are hard to find. Right. Hard yeah. to find. Harder. The only ones find. we ever chewed up. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, mm, they taste better. Yeah. The chocolate um, inside. And um, but again, I, I will say this, I, and and that's the great thing about Cotswold is if you don't have these brown boots, you can get a great looking pair that say Cotswold on the bottom, we, but they look identical. We we have the reproduction ones of them just came out, and they do say Cotswold on them. So and and I mean really, I I and they're a lot cheaper. They're a lot cheaper, <laughs> and uh, I mean you know I'm a hardcore guy, but I I think if you if you want them if you want to have something like that on them, they're they they look great, they look fantastic, and that's yep. the great thing about Cotswold is we've got we've got things to get us until we've got the the actual ones. Mm -hmm. I feel your need. Well, awesome sauce. I appreciate you talking about this one. Uh, real quick, I wanted to give a plug. We've had a lot of people who have been texting us about these hats. Where do you get the hats? This is the guy you go to. The email is 
emporiumofcool at gmail.com. Emporiumofcool at gmail.com. So what we'll do is we'll post down uh, below in the, in the credits, we'll post a link there. So if you want to get one of these ball caps, this is one. This is the only one that's in burnt orange. Sorry, nobody else can get it. Um, he's an OU fan. I'm a U2 fan. Go Horns. But anyway, um, so... I love mine. I will tell you this. I, I mostly have done, been doing yellows, and I'm going to try to branch out and get some different adventure team colors, like a bright orange and a yellow and a and a red and a right. blue and all that kind of stuff. So, but yellow is kind of my number one seller. So I, I usually have these in stock. A two yellow. Can't That's right, baby. All right, folks. Well, that concludes this video for today. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe and leave any comments below. Uh, if you have any additional questions on the boots, we'll try to answer them. Uh, we, I think we try to cover them all, um, but you never know. There's that one anomaly that we don't know about or whatever, but we're always wanting to learn. So, I think that's one thing about G.I. Joe collecting. And this is, we are not experts. I mean, we have just figured this stuff out by seeing stuff over, over and, and over. over and over and going to toy shows. And I, and I have to say, I've learned more about GI Joe. I learned something at almost every show. Somebody else comes up and says, Hey, did you know about this? Or, Hey, have you ever seen mm -hmm. this? Or, Hey, what do you know about this? And, and, and that's why I say never say never. And, and I love going to toy shows to talk to people and, and, and learn what they've learned. And, and that's how I've gotten to learn as much GI Joe just as I have. Just the experience and just talking to people, yeah. talking to people and talking about toys yep all right folks well uh check us uh check with us next week and we'll have another exciting video from cosplay collectibles otherwise uh enjoy your day thanks